game, like since Bro. The thing that I love with Smart Bri also is like it will do anything that it can do to win. Yeah. Like if it needs to time out you, it will time out you. Even if it, if it's like two minutes at the timer and it feels like it needs to make the timeout happen, it will make it. Actually, like it's good. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So I love the, that the the way of uh, the way of it choose is uh, is option. I would say yeah. the way of it pick anything to win. So I'm really looking forward to see that match to see which GD with which plan will make it. But for now, Magri, even though the persons are extremely close, uh, Magri has been the one reading really his options just like that. Twice in a row, the, the two last times he got an opening was because he punished one of Nif's as well. Obvious to Magri's side view. Okay, very nice conversion. Roll to down tilt, something Magri himself was using in the set today. Nice. Stage control is, is absolutely crucial in this matchup because if you don't have stage control, you cannot use your banana. And if you throw the DD in the air, you can either try a 50 50, try to hit him at an airdot, or pull out a banana. And with the banana, you can set your dominance on your stage. Just like that. Yeah, you, get, you don't have stage control, but you have a banana in hand, so it's, it's kind of a, you know, a wild card. I love the way he provoked that airdot just to punish him. And once again, using the banana to force certain reaction and. Find that back here. Not this one, no. But nice guy down away on that down tilt. Not taking a hit by that up smash. On the other hand, taking his own down tilt to put the back here. It was a very nice DI from Magri on the down tilt. Definitely a down smash wouldn't have hit him. But a, a raw back here. The kind of technology I was mentioning at the beginning of the game, Nif was even, even considering his options because he was too stuck into the brawl gameplay. But right now, he's refined it. So we, we find it enough though because Magri is not getting hit and Magri finds his down tilt to up smash very nice DI but not enough Magri is super, uh, super good at switching the rhythm also he's like aggressing and at some point dash dancing a bit just around making some wave finding some ways like that that way I love the ways of just changing rhythm I'm aggressive now I'm defensive now I'm just here I, I don't know like I'm just making some anti air and stuff yeah. right now it's just it's just more than defensive, just more like a, a speaky, sh speaky bubble, I will say, you know? Yeah, you yeah, come to his and he stopped you, right away! That's like the third side view from across the stage that both Neef has thrown out and that Magbury has punished. I, I was uh, I was willing to, to point out the fact that um, I don't know which Diddy Magbury trains with, but he seems to be very convincing at this matchup. Yeah, I feel like he know the character. He does not need to know the player. Yeah. He knows the character, he knows how to play against, with, around. That's a fourth side B that if got punished, nearly lost a start for it. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Catching the Oh, okay! Not catching that banana to throw out that fourth match. Just a bit too slow to react. The banana was put there to precisely provoke a, a certain ledge option from Agri, and if wasn't ready to react to a Double jump pair. Nice. Okay. Excellent DI. Wow. He knew that up smash. Oh! Coming, but this time, yeah, he didn't want to commit to a side B. And with Diddy's poor aerial mobility, he was forced to land into the uh, second up smash from Neef. Insane. Just with the last hit. Not too bad. I, I'm not sure why Magri went for a front smash. Probably because up smash wouldn't have killed. Maybe because of the DI down of Neef on the down tilt. Yeah. I don't know if, that's can, if that can connect or anything, but... Uh, the unsung characters, but... Uh, okay. Nice DI. Yeah, still living. Even though the take chase was on point from... Uh, from Magri. Yeah, I think that the forest smash can connect, but very uh, DI and space independent, so that's sure. Now, Nith is switching his game plan. Like, he's not throwing the side B, as you said just earlier. Yeah. No, it's more like trying to stick... Mo oh, okay, maybe so. <laughs> just trying to stick to Morgbri and just react to what happened. That's exactly what he's doing, yeah. He's just uh, slowly covering the options from the edge. And now now that he's lost the uh, stage control... Uh, the ledge control, I'm sorry. Just wanted to get that banana back, really, for some easy percent. Oh. That was a close call. Okay, no options back. Yeah, he used burn both his double jump and side B. So he had to try the hitbox landing on the platform. Very ballsy. Okay, nice. On the, yeah, it was on the ground. 
Finding the center, Maugri, Maugri was like, nope, you won't go through there, man. You won't, you won't. Okay, down throw to nothing. Nif might be feeling a bit of pressure right now because he knows this game is his to lose. And he, you know, these situations with Didi, when you're thrown out of this stage at very low percent, it can get super scary. You get Ouncy, you go for the immediate double jump, the other guy snipes your jump, and you're done. Could have done a ugly for, uh, for Nif. Yeah, but remember, Magbury will not stake to do anything in his power to win the game. Oh, once again. Okay. Not, not quite ready to punish it, but definitely won't get caught by the side. Right now, Magbury is just moving around. He's, he's staying on the center, but just making some weird movement just in case, just to be ready to react to anything that Nis can do. Oh, misplaced that, unfortunately. At this point, he will definitely die to a down tilt to follow up. So I think he's ready. Yeah, just like that. That's it. I, I was about to say, I think he's, uh, he's right to, to stay as far as he can from Nif while he's still trying to apply some pressure and answer Nif's options. Because basically, you can get hit from afar and not die. And if you get dash grabbed, that's not too bad. But if you get down tilt, it's over. Like with Justine. So the first game goes to Nif. Perhaps he was uh, unnecessarily cautious about uh, this upcoming Ditto. Uh, but perhaps Magri will now adapt. Wow. Yeah, the point is like Marbury, even if he we've punished a lot Nif during a certain period of time, he didn't really take really good advantage out of it. Yeah. Where Nith is more like control based when you find an opening, like that way kind of. Like find an opening and it will still keep Marbury in a certain area, certain control where he can still deal more and more and more and yeah. more. And like the, the last talk, Marbury's last talk. He just got hit for like 80% while still getting some hits on Nif, but Nif was just taking on so much percent while keeping his lead, so it was really like snowballing in his favor. Let's see if he can shin it up. Nah, not quite ready to finish that side B. Too bad because he has a lead. Mm, nice, finally catching that. It's been uh, like Nif doing that a lot, those uh, double jump uh, banana before landing from the from the, the side of the of the stage. And finally Marbury catching with the side B, that was nice. No and Marbury just dashing shield, roll away, dashing shield, roll away, like that. Just trying to provoke something. Oh wow, that was rare. Miss. Dash looter, I think he was a, a missed uh, raw back there. Yeah, I do agree. Okay. Very nice, going for the back air. It's crucial to know with GD. <gasps> oh, that could be it. Oh, oh. wow, terrible attempt at the punish from me. Yeah, and finally bad read also from Nith, trying to catch a roll, but that was a spotter that came out, and Marbury took advantage out of it and finished that stock. So Marbury with the lead now. And it seems like Marbury's uh, style, when, when, uh, as you pointed out, he was just, you know, uh, walking back and forth, mixing his uh, neutral game with mo just simple mo uh, movement options, uh, is working a lot better on Final Destination, because there are no platforms, no mix-up, uh, apart from this horizontal spacing game, and uh, he's able to use uh, his own spacing game, but it's a full advantage. Nice forward tilt. Oh, okay. Uh, not enough, not enough. If looking for that up tilt, he knows it's an excellent up tilt at this point. An entire. Yeah, I would say efficient for it. Okay. Gets it with a, a forward end, not the strongest on move, but still. But from the edge, I mean, yeah. this is way enough. Tiny deficit, but Marbury is still digging it right now. Although, uh, on the one hand, Marbury is a bit uh, uh, proficient at finishing moves, you know, like GD stuff, like very specific options, like uh, side B, just like that, nearly coded, but uh, run out of stage. Uh, Nif had been dealing with uh, Marbury's move all that well, like, just like that, trading with side B, and uh, a lot during these two matches. Very nice match. Uh, like Marbury has been catching uh, Nif's shield with forward air, and Nif hasn't been punishing at all, even with uh, on cross ups. I would say, like, even if, like, in, in that game, even if Nif's making good use of the momentum that he can get and making some great punish, Marbury got the stronger one. Yeah. Like, he can find a way to seal stocks like, pretty easily. So that's the main difference right now. Yeah, that's uh, the banana for a smash in particular. For example. Okay. Let's drop opportunity. Still possible. Nope. Again, Didi uh, Nif not quite ready to deal with GD specific options. 
Wow, the crowd is coming. It's super alive. I wish you had a I mean, crowd uh, camera. I mean, this is kind of the hometown of Need. Remember, this is a main show yeah. at Evan, so of course, of course, the crowd is cheering for him right now. I think I did hear. Oh! I think I heard Iggy's cheer for, uh, I suppose, Maldi. Ah, possible, possible. So, okay, we'll see. So, Marbury once again the center. Neat always pushing at each side of the stage. Once again, he's blocking the other side. Finally, finally finding the center with that side B. Nope, getting punished right after. Nice. Oh, reacting just right after getting hit by that down tilt. Nice by Marbury. Neat still trapping, finding that side B to get back in the center of the stage. Marbury waiting a bit. Beautiful jump, Banana, to catch a reaction out of shield, trying to find, to punish another dodge, but it's never came, fortunately for him. Neutral air, up air. He needs that kind of uh, small links to try and make up the person that is a bit, yep! It's not, it's not, not yet! I won't say good jab, but it really wasn't, just the up smash was not strong enough to finish up the oh that was, that was really close. Yeah, very good read. I don't know if he was looking for a roll or a risking IO, but anyway, it was very close to taking it. Okay, getting back to center. Nothing is done yet. Nothing is done yet. One opening by Marjorie can be found at any moment, but Neath can still, still find his way to okay. that 2-0 victory. This time he gets it. This time he finishes. Marjorie's rare. Okay, uh oh, noble banana. Magri is waiting. Marbury making the wall. Outspacing the Dalton with his own. Waiting, oh, finding the, the grab. The fourth yeah, throw. The fourth throw is the edge. One All one. Right. Very close game. You could see Magri sweating. Incredible. First time we get to 1 1 situation in those winner quarters. Neath against Magri. Who's gonna win that Diddy Dito? Oh man, they got the same expression. Oh. Oh, that was lagging. Okay, that's lagging right now. But <laughs> they got the same expression. That's so funny to watch. <laughs> Both MD Dito. That way. I'm calling you now. Okay, here we are. Oh, interesting pick. Compared to Magbury, flat stage, I would say, with Final Destination. Wanted to cover a bit more with all the ground. Need bringing him to Dreamland. Platforms, easiest way to... Easiest way to Punish the landing and stuff, and probably getting early kills with off smash. That's true, like Neath found tons of off smash on battlefield, so maybe this is why he picked Dreamland. I think uh, he's, uh, he'd rather have those platforms over him because uh, the you know horizontal spacing game with Malbury moving around, Neath was staying a bit static. Okay, finally, one of the side is hitting Malbury instead of getting punished. So yeah, Nick playing well, well, way better. Sorry, on with the with those platform, like he's controlling way more the space that uh, can use uh, Marbury, which is kind of fun because he got more to thing to look at. But even though, even though, oh, nice grab. He can do also more trick with the banana. I don't know if that's a miss or if that's a really trick that he does uh, each time. But that's that's cute from his part. Stage control for the banana pro. Okay. Yeah, overall, uh, I was uh, focusing on uh, Nif's side B's getting punished by Magri, which is obviously good on Magri's part. But uh, it seems Magri is way m using way less side B's <gasps> than uh, Nif is. Just barely surviving the upside. Just something. I'm sorry. I'm trouble. Uh, what what happened? Yeah, I don't know. There's some big match going on. Everyone is watching the setup. Okay, okay I, yeah, I, I'm gonna ask. Good. Okay. In the meantime, Neef gets that up tilt. He tried to look for it in the second match, and this time, finally finds it. Neef with a very good lead right now. He just manages to tack on a little more percent with Diddy's low percent strings and resets. Oh, too bad. Not finishing that forward, as, as I was saying. He just, like, catches the banana out of shield. You'd rather want to punish Diddy. Bad against it's down to first match, just barely missing. Okay, still living, though, still living. Yeah. Nif is not making anything out of the heat that he had. He was like at 50 or 60 when he took Marble stock, and he basically hasn't hit <gasps> since then, just barely surviving. Okay, nice. Marble was just waiting. Not enough. Ooh, sniped the double jumping. 
Nothing come out of it. Malgri wasn't willing to come in on stage. There it is. Oh, oh that's it. Yep. That, that was actually a decent option, the down Exactly. Smash. Covering a lot of uh, like tech rolls and missed techs. That one option, though, the regular get up was the right call. Yeah, that, that smash was really smart. But the option to react to that? My yeah. boy. Okay, so yeah, now we're even once again. It's crazy close between those, man. Crazy yeah. close. Nice by Nid, though. Yeah, he knows uh, with the up air, he, he'll have to double jump to get the up air, so no way he can get an early kill because he won't be able to do a second up air after that. He goes for the back air. Barbary being close. Oh, wow. Spaghetti, oh. but nice from Nid, reading the down set from Barbary, getting used to his pokes. I feel like also Nid gets way more good punish because of the platform than Mag Magri does. Like, Magri is not really comfortable by extending his combo game, his punish game on the with the platform, but Nils on that part is quite good. Let's yeah, be honest. Like oh, oh, wow, just misses the forward smash. Again, like, it's too bad because I think the up smash wouldn't have killed, so that's why he went for the up smash, but he missed the forward platform. This is so funny, like, the previous stock was definitely in Magri's favor, now this is in Nid's favor, and probably when Nid will lose this stock, it's gonna be in Magri's favor again. Yeah. It's just uh, get back and forth and back and forth. It's hard to tell which one gonna take it, but now Marbury taking the advantage, I won't let oh him nice. go, now the fair. First time he goes off stage. Yeah, it won't be a stock quite yet though, because Nid still could recover high. Oh <gasps> wow, the other is absolutely crucial at this point. The timing on it was uh -oh. pristine too, and there it is, yeah. With all this rage, did his confirms get really scary? So now Nils on his last talk of winner's side. Will he let it go? Will he let it go? Oh, wow! Never see, uh, that might actually be the win playing a part because I usually when you drop out of up smash, it's from behind and you rarely miss uh, after the first hit. Yeah, I do agree. I think this is because of the win. Beautiful jump by Marbury, catching the banana and avoiding grab. Taking the control, it won't, you want that kill, you want yeah. that kill so badly, you can feel it. Yeah, that's what the upfield was really raw. And Magri is more than willing to just play a patient game and punish option by option. Uh oh. Nif's own options. Scary situation. Uh, Look at that, he's waiting, he's just waiting for Nif to just wave, just rush a bit too much, like that. <gasps> yeah. And Nif is losing his cool. Letting the game slip away from him. Oh, la la, once again, that shield. That might be it. Oh, oh that's too bad. I, I was thinking he was going to go for a nap tilt. Uh, much safer, and he might actually kill. And here we are. Last match, last talk between Morgbury and Nid. Who from Spain or France will take that home? Not quite ready to die to an up tilt to up smash, but it's looking rough. Nif might actually uh, at least recovered his cool now that he's taken by every stock, but is it too late? You never know, man. You never know. This Could be a bit up. long. Okay, nice pummel out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mash out. Yeah. That situation. Uh oh, this is tense, man. This is tense. Magri does not want to approach. Yeah, he's not even willing to pick up a banana because <laughs> at this point he doesn't want to w miss an opportunity. He just is using his own banana at this point. Forcing him to approach. I want to look in this, like the second stock when Neath had the lead and couldn't finish Magri's stock, and he's just putting him off stage again and again. Oh, oh that's that banana! Could be. Oh, yes. on the ground, don't Very it nice. Yeah, and Neath's uh, loss of composure cost him this game in the end. He wasn't able to take Magri's stock, and Magri. Let's go. T'inquiète, maman, si on a besoin. <laughs> the staff is taking care of us. He's really taking care of us. 